Hello everyone, welcome to another video. Just thought I'd do a video to address this for like the fourth dozen time I've addressed this since I've been an activist. Now it's the issue of people claiming that vegans are sending them death threats. Now it's usually via some anonymous email, it's usually via some untraceable message from a fake account, some faceless account. You know, the reason I'm talking about this is because this guy, um, Isaac Butterfield, went to his Instagram and he's posted this, and it goes on to say some pretty hectic things. And look at the look at the name, Vegan Militant. Who who calls himself that? Vegan Militant, and then sends, you know, I, I just very, I'm just very suspicious of these emails. It's very very convenient, isn't it? Um, and then he go, he says all this stuff like you deserve death, and you know you ain't funny, you ain't funny, you you kill yourself with a firearm, blah blah blah. If Joey Carbstrong met you in person, he could kick your ass. Like, who? who is this? I'm not asking anyone to do this on my behalf. So whoever you are, piss off. I don't want you sending shit like this to anyone on my behalf. Um, you know, why do you think this is productive? And is it even a vegan anyway? Um, and, then, and then he goes on to say, in quotations, why do you pick on vegans? They are nice people. Oh, really? Oh, really? So, by your logic, Isaac, mate, um, this is this is probably one of the worst, the worst um, comments I've ever got. I'm going to show you this one after this one, actually. So, this is one I got recently. This was on Tuesday. All right, so two days ago. 1.47 p.m. Uh, Listen here. I'll chop you up into little pieces, bag you up, and send, you, send your ass to... To your parents, you stupid C. We need to genocide your kind of people. So here we go. This guy's calling for the genocide of my kind of people. Now, what is what is he talking about? I mean, I'm Italian. I'm a vegan. What 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 kind of people is he talking about? Now he's calling for the genocide. So here, here's Isaac's quotations here. Why do you pick on vegans? They are nice people. Well, why do you pick pick on meat eaters? They are nice people. So so what are you saying that we? Like, I, I actually condone this type of behavior. I condone these type of threats to you, mate. So, by that logic, if I'm responsible for every email you get sent on the internet, then you're responsible for every message that I get sent. Here, telling they're going to chop me up into pieces and send me to my parents and they want to genocide us. Is that is that right? Like, you're responsible for this too? Or can we just say it's the internet and we can't control what people send to us? Yeah? We can't control what these idiots are sending to either of us. And, you know, there's idiots on both sides, okay? There's just idiots on the internet. There's just generally idiots. And I don't know if this guy is even a vegan. So why use it, uh, you know, you're just using cheap little, you know, pathetic excuses to try to attack vegans, mate. All right? And it just looks pathetic. Here's one here. This one here is probably the all-time um, most disgusting message I've ever seen on the internet, and it was on Facebook, and I screen capped it. It was a while back, and this was just after the shootings that happened, uh, where those innocent people were shot dead in the mosque. It's a shame that Nutter in New Zealand didn't have it in for protesting vegans instead of innocent Muslims. What do you think of that? about that, Isaac? You gonna make a video about that? Huh? Do you think that that's okay? Do you think that's okay that someone here is calling for the mass shooting of vegans? And this is another guy calling for the genocide of vegans. A holocaust of vegans. What do you think about that? You are gonna make some comedy about that, mate? So, you know, I'm not gonna use these comments against someone like I Isaac in a debate because they're irrelevant to the debate we're having on, on ethics. These are just like ad hominems. These are just distractions. These are just really distractions from the point. This has got nothing to do with the debate on the ethics of animal agriculture. Now, I know that Isaac's not interested in having a debate. He's just interested in trying to make vegans look bad at whatever cost he can. He thinks he's white knight. And now, I, I have addressed these death threats many times and condemned them. I condemn the death threats on television, on national TV, in front of millions of people. Use those words that farmers um, uh, uh, can be compared okay. to rapists. And okay, so I want to I want to just publicly say that I condemn any death threats and any name calling. That's not the way I advocate. The first time I address, had to address this was when this lady here, a Welsh farmer, I think she was from Wales, um, said this. Of course, you, you you do get death threats, which is quite ironic coming from people that want peace for animals. Quite ironic for people who want peace for animals. Now, she was playing the same game here, trying to, like, victimise herself to the degree that it ended up turning out to be absolute nonsense because 
Death Threat Farmer admits, I've not had people making specific threats towards me. So she retracted her claim. This lady, she retracted her claim. So it ended up being a load of crap. Here's her, here, here's her exact quote. I've not had people make specific death threats towards me, but I certainly know people who have received really horrible threats just for being farmers. Now, whatever, whatever, that it could be true. I mean, I'm look at the, look at the threats I receive. You know, I'm going to chop you up into pieces and send you to your parents, and uh, uh, maybe all maybe though that uh, mass shooting should happen to vegans. So it probably is true. They are getting some messages, but who are they from? I don't know who these are. Are they 11 year old kids? Who knows? They're not legitimate. That's what I'm trying to say. Here, here we go. The Telegraph. I remember this. Farmers live in fear with death threats from violent vegan activists. Um, I remember addressing this in a video a while back too. I mean, if you look at um, all of these newspaper articles, it's a face of me and saying that vegans want to murder farmers and all of these things that the media do to try to get a good story. I want to publicly uh, say that I condemn any death threats from either side, okay? If we just look through my Facebook inbox, I could show you many death threats coming from non-vegans and farmers saying they're gonna slit my throat and all of that. Now there was newspaper article after newspaper article, Joey Carbstrong, death threats to farmers saying that I'm threatening farmers. Mate, I, I've done nothing but condemn threats to farmers. So anyway, this is this is just the logic of someone trying to make, he's used, trying to use this as an argument. It's not an argument, mate. You, you're clutching at straws here. Like otherwise I could use um, any, uh, I could use the same argument against you. You're responsible for all the threats I get too, hey? All meat eaters are like this. Yeah, they want they want to chop me up and send, send me to my... I'm sure my mum would like to see this message. Someone wants to chop me up and put me in a bag because I'm uh, defending animals. Hmm? I don't agree with threats on either side. Now, you haven't, you haven't said you condemn threats towards vegans, have you? I, I condemn any threat towards you. Now, not only does Isaac not condemn threats towards vegans, he actually encourages hate towards vegans on his page. Roses are red, violets are blue. I hate vegans like if you hate them too. Top comment on his last video. Now, imagine if this comment said, I hate black people like if you hate them too. I hate women like if you hate them too. I hate Muslims like if you hate them too. I hate gay people like if you hate them too. Why is it that vegans are such fair game? But if it was a vegan with a large platform saying this about farmers, oh, there'd be public outrage. But why is it fair game to, you know, propagate hate against vegans and you're talking about the whole vegan community women and children and families and you know you're propagating hate to all of them or is it just the ones that you know that you feel are militant i mean you're, you're talking about a whole community of different people here especially when we've got um people calling for mass shootings and genocides of vegans in my comment section do you think this is really okay to propagate this type of hate and in fact if i hear of anyone sending you, you crap like this, I'd tell them to their face, they're just a f***ing idiot. I don't want to be associated with someone who goes, if Joey Carbstrong met you in person, he could kick your ass. Well, what are you talking about, mate? Why, why are you speaking on my behalf? I, don't, I wouldn't punch Isaac in the head if I met him. I would have a conversation with him. He's doing this shit for public comedy. If I met him in real life, I'd sit down and chat with him about it. You know, I've, my punching people in the face for no reason days are over. I mean, I don't claim to be a pacifist. I wouldn't let someone attack my family and sit there and just kneel over while someone attacked me. Of course, I would defend myself and, ha and use violent force if I had to, but not over a debate on ethics, not over something like this. I wouldn't. I would, I'd have a conversation with someone so whoever this is thinking they're speaking on behalf of me, I don't even know if this is a real person, <laughs> to be honest with you. And that's the thing, we cannot, we can never say whether it's a real person or not, can we? So if we're going to be level-headed about this, we should just say, hey, we're on the internet. And he knows this Isaac guy is probably not the, f the first idiot comment he's got or idiot email he's got from other topics. He's probably got it from speaking up against other political issues too and other issues. And he's probably got mountains of threats and stupid comments about him and his family and threats and all this nonsense. But because, you know, it's a debate he can't really win, you know, because he's trying to justify the worst abuse on the earth, he's using this little stuff on his Insta. 32,000 likes. People buy into this crap. People buy into this crap. Well, what about this one, mate? Have you ever got one like that? Imagine if a vegan or even a, a fake vegan account put this up. It's a shame that Nutter in New Zealand didn't do it f to protesting vegans. Imagine that. People who are trying to make the world better. People who are trying to stop animal cruelty. I mean, 
how, how, how sick and twisted. So yeah, guys, um, if if you are a vegan, don't participate in this shit. It doesn't. It's not productive. And if you have evidence of an individual doing it, like you can identify them, that's a different story. But if it's a fake account, what are you going to do? What are you going to say? I mean, I could say that I could make up things and go, oh, you know, this is this is Isaac himself. He's just made a fake account. Like it's just a claim. It's just a claim if you can't prove it. So anyway, that's me addressing that, and I haven't gotten a response back from Isaac Butterfield yet to my video I made about him. If you would like to look at the response video uh, to Isaac, it's down below. Um, I don't know if he'll make a response. Maybe he will. Maybe he won't. Maybe he's taking a bit of time. Maybe he's doing a bit of research before he responds back to me. Don't know. Um, I'll be very interested to see what he says, though. Otherwise... Um, Keep it sensible, guys. Keep it rational and stay vegan. Peace. Joey Carbstrong is a fucking idiot.